You want to park downhill on a two-way road and there is no curb. Which way do you turn your front wheels? A. Straight ahead. B. Right, toward the side of the road. C. Left, toward the center of the road. B. Right, toward the side of the road. When parking facing downhill on a road with or without a curb, or when facing uphill on a road without a curb, turn your front wheels toward the edge of the road so your vehicle will roll away from traffic if the brakes fail. However, when parking uphill on a road with a curb, turn your wheels toward the center of the road so the vehicle will roll into the curb if the brakes fail. A diamond-shaped sign means A. Yield. B. Stop. C. Warning. C. Warning. Diamond-shaped signs are used to warn drivers of special conditions or hazards ahead. They are typically yellow or orange in color. A red arrow pointing to the right on a traffic light means you may a. Turn in that direction after slowing and checking for traffic. B. Not turn in that direction until the light turns green. C. Turn in that direction after you come to a complete stop. B. Not turn in that direction until the light turns green. A red arrow means, stop. You must remain stopped until a green light or green arrow appears. Do not turn against a red arrow. Which of the following describes the thinking of defensive drivers? A. They know other drivers will do the right thing. B. They consider what other drivers might do and are prepared to react. C. They expect no breaks and give none. B. They consider what other drivers might do and are prepared to react. Driving defensively means anticipating potential errors made by others and preparing to compensate for their mistakes. Want to issue DMV test? Go to CheatSheets.com and get your guaranteed cheat sheet. Only fill in the blank can lower blood alcohol concentration, BAC, and reduce alcohol's effects on a body. A. Drinking caffeine. B. Eating foods high in fat. C. Time. C. Time. The only way to sober up after drinking alcohol is to allow time for your body to eliminate the alcohol in your system. Nothing you can do, including eating and drinking, can accelerate this process. If you have had several beers, the effects of alcohol will be reduced only by A. Taking a cold shower. B. Waiting several hours. C. Drinking several cups of coffee. B. Waiting several hours. The only way to remove the impairing effects of alcohol is to give the body time to remove it from the body. Drinking coffee, physical activity, or taking a cold shower will not speed up this process. It takes about one hour to cancel the effects of one drink. There are oncoming vehicles to your left and a row of parked vehicles to your right. You should steer A. Closer to the oncoming vehicles than the parked vehicles. B. Closer to the parked vehicles than the oncoming vehicles. C. A middle course between the oncoming and parked vehicles. C. A middle course between the oncoming and parked vehicles. If there are oncoming vehicles to your left and a row of parked vehicles to your right, the best thing to do is to split the difference. Steer a middle course between the oncoming cars and the parked cars. When driving in fog, you should A. Use your high beam headlights. B. Use your parking lights. C. Use your low beam headlights. 
C. Use your low beam headlights. Drivers should use low beam headlights when driving in fog. High beams will reflect back at the driver, making it difficult to see. When entering traffic after being parked at a curb, you a. Should drive more slowly than other traffic for 200 feet. b. Should wait for a large enough gap to get up to the speed of traffic. c. Should wait for the first two vehicles to pass, then drive into the lane. b. Should wait for a large enough gap to get up to the speed of traffic. Any time that you merge into city or highway traffic, you should wait for a gap in traffic large enough for your vehicle to get up to the speed of other traffic. This sign means A. Pedestrians walking along the road ahead. B. Pedestrian crossing ahead. C. Pedestrians must not cross here. B. Pedestrian crossing ahead. Warning signs are usually yellow with black markings. This sign alerts drivers to where pedestrians may be crossing. If a pedestrian is crossing in a crosswalk marked with this sign, drivers must stop and remain stopped until the pedestrian is no longer in the crosswalk. What does this road sign mean? A. Winding road. B. Loose gravel. C. Slippery when wet. C. Slippery when wet. This sign indicates that the road may be slippery when wet. Exercise caution when driving on a slippery road. This yellow warning sign means A. You are approaching a school or school crosswalk. B. Slow down, drive with caution, and watch for children. C. Both of the above. C. Both of the above. This sign is placed on roads near schools to warn drivers to slow down, drive with caution, and watch for children. This sign means A. No right turn. B. You must turn right. C. Watch for traffic on your right. A. No right turn. This sign prohibits right turns. You cannot make a right turn at an intersection where this sign is posted. Driving under the influence of any medication which impairs your driving is permitted. A. Under no circumstances. B. If you don't feel drowsy. C. If it is prescribed by a physician. A. Under no circumstances. It is illegal to drive under the influence of any substance that impairs your ability to drive safely. This includes alcohol, prescription medications, over-the-counter medications, and illegal drugs. A broken yellow line beside a solid yellow line indicates that passing is A. Permitted from the side next to the solid yellow line. B. Not permitted from either direction. C. Permitted from the side next to the broken yellow line. If a tire blows out, you should. A. Apply the brake and hold it. B. Hold the steering wheel tightly and use the brakes lightly. C. Pull over quickly. B. Hold the steering wheel tightly and use the brakes lightly. If a tire suddenly blows out while you are driving, hold the steering wheel tightly and keep the vehicle going straight. You should slow down gradually, taking your foot off the gas pedal and using the brakes lightly. Do not stop on the road if at all possible. Pull off the road in a safe place. Water on the road can cause a vehicle to hydroplane. Your car may hydroplane at speeds as low as a. 45 miles per hour. B. 35 miles per hour. C. 40 miles per hour.
b. 35 miles per hour. Hydroplaning occurs when there is standing water on a roadway. At speeds up to 35 miles per hour, most tires will channel water away from the tire. As your speed increases past 35 miles per hour, tires cannot channel the water as well and your tires may start to lose contact with the road and ride over the water like a set of water skis. This yellow sign means A. There is a sharp turn to the right. B. The lane must turn right. C. A right turn is permitted on a green arrow only. A. There is a sharp turn to the right. Some warning signs have a fluorescent yellow-green background. These signs warn of upcoming conditions, including roads with curves and sharp turns. Handicap parking spaces are available? A. To anyone, but only if all other spaces are occupied. B. Only to drivers with the appropriate license plate or hanging tag. C. To people who are not feeling well. B. Only to drivers with the appropriate license plate or hanging tag. Reserved handicap parking spaces should be used only by persons with a disability as defined under state law. To park in a handicap parking space, you must have either the appropriate license plate or designated hang tag displaying the international symbol. When a pedestrian guided by a dog or carrying a white cane is crossing the street. A. You must always yield the right of way. B. You must tell them where to cross the street. C. You only have to yield the right of way if you are at a corner. A. You must always yield the right of way. Blind or partially blind pedestrians may carry a white cane or use the assistance of a guide dog. You must always yield the right of way to a pedestrian who is using a guide dog or carrying a white cane. This sign means A. Yield sign ahead. B. Side road entering from left. C. Stop sign ahead. A. Yield sign ahead. This sign indicates that there is a yield sign ahead. You should begin to slow down when you see this warning sign. Which lane must you be in before making a left turn from a one-way street? A. The lane nearest the left curb. B. The lane nearest the center of the street. C. The lane nearest the right curb. A. The lane nearest the left curb. When making any turn, turn from the lane closest to the direction you wish to travel into the first available legal lane. If you are making a left turn from a one-way street, this means that you would make the turn from the lane nearest to the left curb. A flashing yellow light at an intersection means you should A. Slow down and proceed with caution. B. Come to a complete stop as quickly as possible. C. Stop and proceed only when the intersection is clear. A. Slow down and proceed with caution. When encountering a flashing yellow light at an intersection, you should slow down and proceed with caution. You do not need to come to a complete stop when approaching a flashing yellow light. When driving in work zones, you should A. Increase your speed to get through the zone as quickly as possible. B. Reduce your speed and be prepared to stop suddenly. C. Maintain your normal speed the whole way through the zone. B. Reduce your speed and be prepared to stop suddenly. When entering and driving through a work zone, slow down and be prepared to stop. Obey posted speed limits and be alert to conditions around you. Workers could be present. To avoid traction loss on wet roads, you should A. Make abrupt turns. 
B. Apply the brakes firmly. C. Slow down. C. Slow down. To prevent hydroplaning, lower your speed in response to wet roads and keep your tires in good condition. If you detect a loss of control, take your foot off the gas, do not apply the brakes, maintain the direction of the vehicle, and allow the vehicle to slow to a manageable speed.